So the reason why I wanted to go to university was actually because I wanted to study neuroscience. I was quite keen on understanding how the brain and the body works and I wanted to be able to discover new things as well because I was always told from a young age that people don't really understand how the brain works fully and I always wanted to contribute to that understanding and really make sense of what I was learning in school in terms of biology and chemistry. Um, so. Initially, because Southampton wasn't my first choice, I had to make that decision to go there or not through clearing. Um, and at first, I really wanted to stay in London, so close to home. But what really convinced me to move outside of um, my city is a teacher that spoke to me. She said that it's always a new experience to move somewhere far outside of university because you'll learn to be more independent and you'll learn to be in a new environment that you probably won't get that experience anywhere else. I feel like university provides a very safe and um, interesting <laughs> environment for students to create that step from being in school to being an independent adult. So that's another reason as well. University has been quite challenging in terms of my studies because it's very independent, they require a lot from you and it takes some time to get used to but in the end you will get used to a routine and once you get that routine you'll find university to be a little bit much easier um, but university isn't meant to be easy, it's meant to be hard, it's meant to be challenging but that's something that is great about university, it really pushes you to be the best that you can be. At the moment, I really want to go into research. And so at the moment, I'm just investing my time in doing my course and doing my dissertation to get understanding of my projects really.